Welcome back to you, Tried It TV. Subscribe now. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous to me. And then y'all do it to biracial women, but y'all don't do this to biracial men. It's because y'all hate women. Y'all literally hate women. And you guys are so ignorant. Like, it's so sad. It's like, no matter what, what I post, I post my daddy, okay? he Y'all saying he looks like an Indian man. I Then you try to say he's half white. I post my grandparents. They're trying to say my grandma looks like she has an afro and a tan. It's like, somebody said, girl, the more you talk, the bigger hole you are making. I don't care about no hole. I want you guys to understand that. I don't give a f about being canceled. I don't give a f about digging no damn hole. I'm not ignorant. I'm not full of hate. I don't spread hate. I've never been. I've never been racist. I've never been. Want, I've never wanted to be something that I'm not. I've never been homophobic, transphobic, ignorant, small-minded, closed-minded. I'm from literally the Bay Area, California. Like I was raised in one of the most open-minded places in the world, and then I have to get on the internet with fucking pee bane, pee brain is who have never who who were literally raised amongst hella hate i was not raised like that like it's so ridiculous like i was not raised around hate i was i didn't even know that i when i was raised i thought that racism was something from back in the day i remember the first time i realized that it was really real and currently going on was not until i was like I want to say like 12 13 years old like obviously i got like picked on and stuff and like people would say little comments about like oh you're not a oreo or you know make fun of me looking white or you know my cousin let me touch your hair whatever but like that wasn't like what the racism that i learned about in books that's not really technically racism but that wasn't what i learned about in books like when i learned about stuff in books it was obviously like you learned about like slavery so I like I wasn't raised in no like hateful ass mindset like I really didn't even realize that she was real until I moved out from like being a kid really all it is is colorism and here's another thing like here's another thing right now I feel like people are trying to like how can I say this? Because you know I got to choose my words extremely carefully. How can I possibly say this? I'll give an example. <sighs> I'll give you an example. An example is fat women. Let's talk about fat women. Okay? This is just a metaphor. I'm going to just... This is literally just a metaphor, but... Let's talk about fat women. You think that by, you think that, okay, look, I want to sit up here and I want to support fat women. You think that what you need to do to support fat women is to put down skinny bitches. And you don't have to do that. Like, there's literally no reason for you to have to put down the fat girls. I mean, to put down the skinny girls to support the fat girls. And that's how I feel about you don't have to like put down mixes for being mixed to support black women at all. You don't have to do that. It's like when y'all put two women up against each other, when you're like, oh, who, who wore this better or who looks prettier with this hairstyle? It's like, why y'all got to put them up against each other? They can't just both look great. Like, I literally, I will not allow ignorant people to put hate into my heart because it's like, I'm not going to allow people to put hate into my heart because it would be super easy. Like, majority of the people that were attacking me on TikTok and still are and still on Instagram or whatever, you know, it is 
certain groups of people. And I'm not about to let that put no damn hate in my heart. That's like because one person did something or said something that was ignorant and hurt my feelings. That's going to make me hate all this group of people. I would never let that happen. Like somebody just said, aren't you Caucasian and British though? Are you fucking stupid? Like this is what I mean when I say you guys are hella dumb. My dad is British, bro. Do you think that only white people can be British? Like, do you think that only white people come from England? Like, first of all, and then it's another thing. Like, I know a lot of people are also kids. Like, whatever. I know a lot of people are kids. And it's like, y'all don't even know how to properly wipe your... You don't know how to properly apply deodorant to your little musty things. You don't even properly know how to do your hair, do your makeup, ain't never drive the car, ain't never pay the bill, ain't never got about your mama house. And it's just like, I can't argue with a lot of kids. There's literally been, some said you literally just, somebody said, girl, you just said you're fully black, but now your father's British. Like, this is what I mean. This is the type of shit will say to me, bro. Like, anyways. Like I was saying, literally, it's been people sending me death threats and not even death threats telling me to kill myself and blah, 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 and all this extra stuff. And it's like kids, like it's like literally like, you know, 15 year olds, 16 year olds. And I'm just like, I just don't understand. Someone said her story been consistent. Yo, someone said at this point, I'm just, tr at this point, I'm trolling. Okay, so what do you feel about that? You're a loser. You're a loser. Somebody said, you're, you're mixed. You are white passing. You don't experience the same things as an unambiguous black person does. Stop acting dense. Laugh my ass off. You're white passing. That's it. Cool. You're mixed. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to experience the same things that like a dark skinned girl is going to experience. I'm not going to get the same hate that she's going to get. But if y'all are going to sit up here and act like I, I literally don't get attacked for my race every single day by over 3 million people across my social media platforms you don't have to wake up and deal with that every single day nobody does unless you're a public figure and i don't give a fuck bitch i'll be white i don't give a fuck like i really don't care y'all can call me y'all can call me white you can call me whatever the hell you want i'll be whatever you want me to be that's fine like Okay, it's just so irritating. Like, whatever. Somebody said it's giving people more ammo. I don't really care. Everybody can suck my. I want somebody to see me in person and say something to me about it. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm really at that point. Like, I will really go to jail. I don't care. Like, I, I really don't even care how old you are. Like, I really don't care. Like, I'm really ready to beat up these fucking chicks. I don't care. And their mothers, too. Like, I'm sorry, but somebody needs to, like, really stomp out. Because it's really irritating. And, like, I have to act so cool and so calm. And, like, if I don't, it's like, oh, you're bothered and all this stuff. And it's like, yes, hello, I'm bothered. I want to punch somebody in the face and you can't do that over the internet. Somebody said, not child, is king, queen. Yes, child, is I don't care. Because clearly these little like Gen Z moms are not this kids and all they...
their mothers don't give a crap about them and they just stick their phones in their hands and let them just say anything wild on the internet are raised with no common sense nothing and it's just like I really don't care at this point somebody call candy to do what park my vehicle that's another thing like that's really another thing y'all keep like being like somebody call a show and show from like this old ass show what gonna do tell me what are they gonna do valet my vehicle definitely get this room recorded and post it later post it anywhere 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 i don't care anywhere Like, y'all know where I be at? Come on now. All these know where I be at. I be around LA. Openly. <laughs> like, I'm really feeling like when Cardi B had to pull up on the damn internet troll. I really feel like I really want to do that. Somebody say you need a social media break. Nah, I, I honestly, I be cool and then I get on live and then I read the comments and it annoys me. It makes me want to freaking fight somebody and really slap the hell out of somebody. 